Hey what's poppin' guys, Sizzle here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the icon and title for any DS ROM, and uh, kind of how to get started with modifying other textures and whatnot. Uh, so you're going to need two tools for this, which will both be linked in the description. You'll need Crystal Tile 2, which is something made in like 2010 that just used to change stuff. Uh, by hitting download file now here, it should start your download, or like ask you to do a capture and then start your download. And the other one is the new Super Mario Bros. editor, um, which will also be linked in the description. Uh, so what you want to do is, you want to, I'm just going to start with the uh, text editing, um, just because I can. So what you want to do is go to crystal tile, uh, run the exe file, have a bunch of text like this, I don't know what any of it means. Then file, uh, open, and you want to open whatever file you want to edit. So in this case, I'm editing CGP Nitro. Hit open, and this is how you change the uh, text. You want to hit the little DS icon right here. Right? Then hit edit, title info, and then you can just change whatever you want to change right here. Right. So this is the uh, name of the game. This is who made it. So you can change that all you want. Right. Uh, Right, so it's just go like C-Tree and c, -tree, c, -tree, c -tree, or 2, and nothing's changed, but we change it across all the different languages by pasting it in, all right, uh, and then hit update. It will actually change the title of how the file is registered from CGP Nitro to CGP Nitro 2, right? That's how you change the text, really simple. It is also technically possible, I think, if you hit edit, view icons, to mess with the game icons and textures through this program, but the reason we download the other program is this program doesn't make it easy, right? You can double click on here, and you can kind of like write on it, but I don't know how to change the color of tiles or anything, so I don't want to mess with it in here. But anyway, when you close out of that, uh, we're going to go back to downloads and go to the SMB, NSMB editor. Um, you open that up. And then you open up the ROM just like that, and you'll see banner.bin. Uh, you just double click to open that. Uh, then you want to make this bigger first. Go to view and VP or whatever. Uh, then you can actually export this as like a PNG. Alright, so I'm just going to call this icon.png, right? And then you can edit it in whatever photo editor you want. So I'm going to use Pixlr just because that's what I use. Normal, uh, not thumbnail style. You actually have to use the image itself. So let's go grab our image, kind of PNG. All right, create new. And I'm just going to apply a simple filter to it. So let's go with reg. All right, there you go. Uh, it's not going to look exactly like this. It will pixelate it. So that's just a warning for that. Save it as a PNG again. Uh, new icon. Uh, downloaded then you want to go back in here with it open like this you want to hit import this bitmap when with an existing palette open new icon and it should update I didn't just update uh, maybe pixelated it got different let's try it again I guess let's change it Kevin um, new icon one Import bitmap. There you go. You can see it changed it. Uh, not exactly like it does in the picture, so you want to make sure you, you pick something where it will change it better, but you can mess around with that on your own. Uh, the color blue generally is an easy one to work with. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how you change that. And then you want to hit the little floppy disk right here to save it. And just like that, you've changed both the banner and the text for the file. Uh, I'm not really sure how I can show that off, but do know that it does work. I guess I'll have like a, a screenshot on screen showing like a, a difference or something, or something that I change. And for changing other stuff, you just have to find the files in here, find like the textures or whatever, and uh, change that in there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Hopefully that's useful to you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.